Hey, good morning, scholars and staff. Mr. Hagee here. It is time to go ahead and get started. Hey, great news today, right? It's not only Friday, but it is the first day of October. How exciting that is. That means we're going to be changing seasons here soon. Have a little crisp in the air because fall is just right around the corner. So we are excited to get our October started and making sure that we have a great day in the Eagle's Nest and making sure that we get finished strong here this week. We're closing out week seven in the Eagle's Nest. So we wanna make sure that we're doing some things, scholars. You have had a fantastic first quarter. So we're gonna finish the first quarter strong by making sure that we actively listen to the speaker. Number two, we keep our hands and feet to ourselves. Number three, we clean up our area. Number four, we're being kind to others with our words and our actions. And number five, we are doing our best daily. Continue to do your best each day in the Eagle's Nest as you continue to do great things as an elite scholar here in the Eagle's Nest. Hey, just a couple of announcements real quick before we do Scholars of the Week. So uh, staff and scholars, of course, we have picture day today. So staff, I sent that schedule, resent that out to you this morning. Our first group goes at eight o'clock this morning. Most of it runs through specials, but wanted you to see that today. So we have that today located in the main gym. They're already set up this morning, practicing, snapping pictures and everything like that. So scholars, I know that you'll do a great job with that today. When you come down with your homeroom classes, make sure that you are impressing the Life Touch photography people by showing them how uh, and what an elite scholar at Fairview does each and every day. So looking forward to seeing those awesome pictures come back out. Also, right after announcements today, we are going to do a quick fire drill today. We are gonna do it today. And so with that, right around 742, 743, you'll hear the fire alarm go off. It is just a drill and you will go to your designated area. Now, we'll tell you this, last month when you guys did it, it was the best fire drill that I have seen since I've been at Fairview, and I've been here for five years, and it was fantastic. You guys did a great job. So do that again today so we can get you in and out quickly and back into your classrooms. And so teachers, just as a reminder, make sure you take that red emergency folder with you when we have a fire drill. All right, enough with the announcements. Let's get to the fun stuff, which I know what you are ready for this morning, which is Scholars of the Week, and then our next level championship belts today. So listen up, scholars. If you are a Scholar of the Week today, or if your class wins the next level belt, do not come down to the office just yet, because we're going to have our fire drill. And after the fire drill, you will hear me come on announcements and again, and then invite our Scholars of the Week down to the main office to grab your certificate and then head back to class. So when you hear your name this morning, just sit tight. You will come down to the office after your fire drill today. OK, so here we go. I want to hear you all across the building today. I know I'm going to hear Miss McLean's class. They're right behind me and I'm going to hear them right through this wall this morning. I promise you that. So I want to hear everybody through the building today. It's going to be fantastic and we are going to start with kindergarten. Now listen, our scholars of the week have done great things. I looked through these names this morning and I was so excited about these scholars because I have seen them do great things and a lot of growth that they have had. So I'm so excited that their teachers chose them today. So let's celebrate them. We're going to start in kindergarten today and coming out of Miss Green's class. Drum roll, please. None other than Tiago Luciano. Congratulations, Tiago. You are a kindergarten. Scholar of the Week, way to represent kindergarten. You guys are awesome. All right, moving on to first grade, Scholar of the Week. Hey, I've seen it with my own eyes, following the Fairview Five and a lot of growth. So excited to see that this scholar is a Scholar of the Week coming out of Miss Hamlin's class, none other than Jaya Fulmore. Congratulations, Jaya. First grade representing Scholar of the Week. That is awesome. I love it. Second grade Scholar of the Week. Oh, Miss Johnson's class. Yeah, I definitely agree with this. Awesome scholar doing great things this week inside and outside the classroom. None other than Destin Warren. Congratulations. You are a Scholar of the Week coming out of second grade. That's what I'm talking about. All right, moving on to third grade scholar of the week and this one's coming out of miss kelly's class this is what i'm talking about doing great things all the time and getting highlighted today none other than malaya terry congratulations you are a scholar of the week coming out of one and only third grade that's what i'm talking about two left let's start with fourth grade first fourth grade scholar of the week coming out of miss rowan's homeroom today none other than adriana ortiz congratulations adriana you are a scholar of the week from the one and only fourth grade. All right, last but not least, fifth grade scholar of the week. 
doing great things. I would uh, I would definitely agree that the scholars doing some great things following the Fairview Five doesn't just follow, doesn't just know them follows them each and every day. Hold it down for the fellows, none other than Jose Dominguez. Congratulations, Jose! You are a fifth grade scholar of the week. Congratulations to all of our scholars of the week. Remember, hold tight, and I will call you down after the fire drill this morning to come and sign our purple rock outside. And I am excited about that. All right, let's move on to our last thing this morning on announcements. How about some next level champions? So we had some next level champions uh, in the past week. I know Miss Miller's class was the specials champion. Miss Rowan's class was the cafeteria champion. And Miss Reynolds' class was the hallway champion. So just a lot of good things. And I always challenge you, who's going to keep the belt for the second week in a row or who's going to get it back? Fourth grade has owned that cafeteria belt for the past two weeks. Miss Boone's class and then Miss Rowan's class had it. So let's start with the cafeteria champion this week because is it staying in fourth grade today? What do you think? You think it's staying in fourth grade? Hmm. If you said no, then you would be correct. It is changing hands today. Our cafeteria staff said that this class stood out more than anybody else this week. And uh, you can send a representative to come get the belt after the fire drill today. Our cafeteria next level champions for the week, Miss Sanders class. Congratulations, Miss Sanders class. It's going back to kindergarten. So congratulations, Miss Sanders class. You are the cafeteria champion. Let's move to our hallway champion. So you got to ask yourself, all right, hallway champion. I think Miss O'Brien's class has been it. Miss Green's class, Miss Reynolds class. So for the first time this year, and I have seen a lot of great classes in the hallway this week. It is This is one of the hardest awards to choose because you guys do so great getting dojo points in the hallway and doing the right thing. But for the first time this year, it is not changing hands. This will be coming right back up to Miss Reynolds' homeroom. Congratulations on earning it for the second week in a row, doing great things in the hallway and really showcasing what it means to do the Fairview Five in the hallway. So congratulations, Miss Reynolds' class. And last but not least, our specials. Champions, as always, specialists, our specialists have a hard time choosing a champion. Miss Miller's class did do great again this week. I did hear that, but there was a class that edged them out by this much, and they were the specials champions the week before. It's going back to Miss Hamlin's class. Congratulations. Miss Hamlin's class is the new next level champion. Second time this year that you have won that title. Congratulations to you. Hey, scholars. I hope that you have a fantastic day today. And scholars, I want you to do me a favor today. I know that it's just a random Friday here in October, but I want you to make sure that you give your teacher a fist bump, elbow bump, high five, and tell them how awesome they are because they showed up for you today to do great things. And so, hey, you want to talk about a TikTok challenge. How about showing how awesome your teachers are each and every day? So give them a high five this morning. Tell them how much you love them and how great they are because they definitely deserve that. And so do you. We are so happy to have you in the Eagle's Nest today. So with that being said, here in just a moment, we're going to be doing our fire drill. So it'll probably be in about two or three minutes. You'll hear that happen over I'm sorry about that. Something just fell. It's okay. Um, so you'll be hearing the fire alarm go off. But remember, it's just a drill today, but I wanted to prepare you for that. So take about two minutes to get prepared for that, teachers. We'll ring that. You'll go out to your zone. We'll bring you back in and get you started for the day. Have an excellent Friday. And hey, scholars, remember to be great because you are great. Have an awesome day. All right. So we have.